Hey, this is Steve for Theocat TV, and today I am showing you how to make Blender's camera follow a moving object like this cube over here. And you're gonna see my mouse and mouse clicks and key presses in the bottom left, so you can easily follow what I'm doing. So we're gonna make the camera follow this cube over here. It's actually very easy if you know how to do it. So to uh, to make this camera follow the cube, you, as you see right now, it doesn't follow the cube. You saw that I press G, that's G to move. So now select the camera, right click the camera to select it, and go to the uh, constraints tab in the properties panel. Uh, just click that chain icon there, click it. With the camera selected, make sure you have it selected, click Add Object Constraint and click Track 2. Now, if you have a name for your cube, right here, it, it, its name is just Cube. If you have a name for your object, uh, find it in the Target uh, section. So right now, there are only three objects in uh, this scene. There's the lamp, the camera, and the cube so you, you you won't really get confused with uh, other objects so just click target and click cube now you see that the camera uh, gets a little weird if you move the cube around right click the cube and press G you'll see that the camera follows it but it, it doesn't point at the cube the camera moves when the cube moves but it's not pointing at the cube so to fix that Select the camera, right click on it, and uh, here you'll see that there's an up section. Change that up section to Y. Now you see that it points at the cube, but it doesn't work because you're setting the up direction as the 2 direction. So change that to negative Z. If you just click Z, it Places in the opposite direction. Now click negative Z, and as you see, the camera now follows the cube. In in the camera perspective, press zero on your number pad, and you're just gonna lock the camera to the view. Press N and click lock camera to view in the side panel that shows up. Now press G to move your cube and test it out. Go on, move your mouse around. Watch how the camera always points at the cube. Now there's another way to do this. You can add an empty. Do that just by pressing Shift A and mouse over empty. Click plane axes. Now move those plane axes. It's it, uh, it's two dimensional. It looks two dimensional. It's only a few lines. But it's actually three-dimensional. It doesn't show when you render the the uh, scene. So that is what we are gonna track. So to make it follow the cube around, as you see, only the camera follows the cube around, not the empty that we just created. Select the empty, right, uh, shift click on the cube. So that selected both of them. Actually, shift right click so. It, it select, don't no, left click, that's gonna move the 3D cursor which is right there in the middle of the cube if I click, if I left click, that's the 3D cursor right there, press shift C to get it back to normal so select the, the axes and shift right click the cube then press ctrl P to parent the, the objects set parent to object, so you, you, uh, now when you move the cube the empty moves along with it and now you don't want to track the cube click the target section now if you named your empty find it in here but if you didn't name your empty just click empty over there if that's your only empty now if you move the cube the camera tracks the empty but not the cube itself which is good if you want to control your camera's movement better so for example, you move your cube right here, but you want your camera to uh, 
say go over here, it follows, and if you move, move your cube again, the empty follows. Now it's I'm just gonna take out all those uh, movements by pressing Ctrl Z if you try that, and you want to get it back to the way it was before you did that, just press Ctrl Z until it gets back to the, the pose. I'm gonna include uh, a rendered version of this and it's gonna show uh, at the end of the video before the credits and as you can see the, the camera follows the cube if I move the camera it's not pointing directly at the cube but at the empty instead of the cube so well that's how you do it and yeah, I'm gonna show the rendered version right now.